Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer and welcome back to another video on Oblivion. And in this video, we're going to talk about what you're going to find inside of caves when you loot them, when you fight through them, all that good stuff. And personally, I really like caves, alright? The reason why is very simple. They're the overall, in general, dungeon of this game. You'll find all sorts of different treasures like jewels and armor and weapons and potions. And you'll find pretty much every type of enemy except for undead. Usually there's not a lot of undead in these things because those are saved for the alien ruins. But you'll find marauders, bandits, vampires, freaking everything. But with the caves being an in general thing, what are they used for really? Like, like you can be someone that's like, oh, caves in general, so an oblivion gate's better. But caves actually provide something that I think a lot of people don't think about. And that's the alchemy ingredients. All right. You have the carrying boleta caps and the wisp stalks. Now, if you're a basic alchemist, you have, you know, the one set of ingredients unlocked, you can still use these things because they're mushrooms that give you restore health and damage health. And early in the game, these are very important mushrooms, okay? Damage health is a very good poison to start out with, and restore health is an excellent potion or just simply ingredient to have when you're playing Oblivion because, let's be honest, when you're a noob, your character, while they might have high health for being level one, they're not going to be able to tank as many hits as a level 10, a level 5, anything like that. So you're really not going to be able to do anything without these restore health mushrooms. Not only that, but because caves have the in general type loot spawn, they actually spawn some of the rare items. I think playing this game, I found maybe four mirror shields and three of them were in caves because of just the, the rate that they spawn. They spawn a lot in caves. Now, caves... They give you an excellent opportunity to learn how to dungeoneer, all right? They're built very similarly, which means that they're easy to understand. There's not a lot of puzzles in them. There's some traps, yes, but not a lot of puzzles. And it makes it easy for a noob in Oblivion to get used to close quarters combat and the type of combat that you would have to deal with inside of these caves and inside of ruins, inside of mines, everything. Even Oblivion Gates, right? Because Oblivion Gates is kind of a mixed bag, but caves, they're great. I love them so much, all the different kinds of enemies you find in there, all the different kinds of things, and there's a lot of them. There's a lot of them, and I think that you shouldn't skip over them when you're raiding. You might even find wisps. Those are high-level enemies. They're pretty cool. But with that being said, guys, that's all I have to say about caves. They're the in-general thing that you find, and they have a little bit of everything in them. If your character needs gear especially, like you don't have any enchanted gear, this is the place to go. But that's it for this video, guys. If you enjoyed, you can tell me in the comments below. Subscribe if you're new for more videos on Oblivion. I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at video games, and I'll see you in the next episode, stream, or vlog of whatever I decide to make.